Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is going to be my tutorial for the Beacon 3 fights. Um, so the reason I'm not doing a full Beacon 3 tutorial right now is I have a pretty comprehensive tutorial for uh, super fastball and move boots and stuff like that. That's kind of like the first half of the level. Um, something I don't have to do a tutorial for currently is the dish fight and uh, and Richter fight. So that's going to be the primary purpose of this tutorial, I guess. I mean, Beacon 3 is kind of a big level, so... Breaking it up into two chapters, so to speak, kind of makes sense. Um, so I guess first thing we're going to cover uh, is we're going to we're going to cover the dish fight. First things first, and uh, the dish fight um, is definitely uh, a little complicated. Um, it's it's about uh, again just eliminating as many enemies as fast as possible. You're going to be doing some spawn control, uh, which we'll see we'll, we'll see again in Richter fight as well. Um, but mainly, uh, it's something that is a uh, it could be a little bit random, uh, but you can. There's lots of things you can do to control it. Um, so I have two saves set up. Uh, we'll 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 just start right here uh, with BT. So right there when the go. fight starts, um, you're actually going to get in BT over here. And um, the first thing I like to do here is I'm going to throw out a barrage of acolyte pods at the grunts as they're coming in. I'm going to come over here, and uh, you should have Brute equipped, because you, need to, because you need Moon Boost, and you either shoot him three times, and then melee him. Now, I'm going to do one more barrage of Acolyte Pods at the Grunts that are in the zipline. There's going to be some that fall down from the zipline right here, so I'm going to melee him. There's also going to be a ton of Stalkers that come in, so I'm going to melee all the Stalkers. I send up a barrage at these three guys over here. Now, there's more Stalkers here, so we're going to turn around and melee them some more. And again, there's just a ton of Stalkers that come in. So we're just going to, like, keep wailing on him. And there's these guys up here. Barrage of Acolyte pods at them. At this point I'm going to switch to Expedition. So now I'm going to start uh, just kind of burst firing and killing these guys over here. There's going to be three grunts over here. You can use Acolyte pods on it too, but they can be kind of tricky with Acolyte pods, so like there's a lot of uh, stuff to get around, so I usually just use the Expedition on them. And then once you get here, um, this is just going to be all about controlling where the Stalkers are spawning or identifying where they're spawning as soon as possible. So the Stalkers are going to come in four spots. They're either going to be coming from up here or they're going to be over here on the left side. They're going to spawn right here or they spawn back there. And so the direction you're looking can sometimes determine where they spawn from. So if you're just kind of flailing around all over the place like I am um, with your aim, they're going to be spawning in different spots. But in any case, once you can't find any more Stalkers, um, the best thing to do here is just going to be to disembark from BT um, and then come up here to this top section. So here's this last run I left up here. We got this Stalker over here, and then I already saw the Stalker spawning on my right side, down here. So we're going to take him out too. should be about it right yeah okay so we'll do that again at All full speed hey beginning how are you good to see you bay so you come out here on the zip line welcome back Cooper recommend we secure this area before getting BT with the repairs. Um, clear out any grunts on the uh, zip line if there are any come over here Take care of this guy. Now we start mailing the crap out of everyone. Missile barrage over here on those grunts. Oh, we didn't cure the stalker yet, or the reaper. Missile barrage up there. Find melee is OP. Now we switch to expedition. Kill those guys. Looking for stalker spawns. Missile barrage at those last two. Now we're looking for the stalker spawns. Okay, there's one guy left up there, so I'm just going to disembark early, because I don't want him to, like, uh, halt the fight. Stalker. Looking for the spawns. I still hear a grunt. I'm wondering where he is. There he is. Now we're just looking for the stalker spawns. Okay. And there we go. And that's the fight. So, um, as soon as the fight's over, uh, the dish climb is pretty simple. So, as, so as soon as you hear, like, the bass drop, the boof, um, we're going to come over here. We're going to, while we're on this guy, jump over to here, and then we're going to wedge ourselves in this corner. 
they're just going to kind of use this corner to to jump up and then once you get here you just jump to one wall and then just mash mash jump that's it if you want to go faster you can like go left and right if you want but it's, it's usually just fine just to Mass gem. Come over here. And you grab this. <laughs> Fast forward through this. That's not necessary, it's just kind of a fun thing to do. Alright, <clears throat> so. Here comes Richter fight. So as soon as uh, this starts, you should have expedition equipped, so you immediately switch to Ronin. Cooper, now we're gonna run down here. Get back here and we'll send this message to the fleet. Outstanding work. Um, now once you get here, you're gonna boost and use your phase dash. Just slide all the way down here. So once you get here, um, we're gonna look about in this direction. Uh, you just kind of like stand here. Um, you're gonna kind of aim and have that uh, that rock kind of like behind you over there um, now you're gonna chart you're just gonna hold an arc wave um, and like as soon as the uh, the Reapers drop you release the arc wave and then we're gonna shoot both of them twice um, we're gonna shoot both of them twice with Ronin here so like this the remaining militia troops Reapers inbound so there you go one two one two then you're going to immediately switch to tone. And so now we're going to be using spawn control here based on where we're looking. So when we look um, in the middle of those three rocks and stand about right here, it's going to force the next three reapers to spawn there. Copy that. Locking down. We will assist from here. And as soon as you hear the... As soon as you hear like the, the little warp animation start, I boost forward and I drop a... Uh, sonar, pulse, whatever you call it. Shoot this guy twice. Missile barrage. Shoot this guy twice. Missile barrage. And you have to be careful because sometimes the missiles will like arc around the Reapers, so it's best to kind of just make sure they're dead. Now, once you come over here, we're going to boost twice. Or once you're done with that, we're going to boost twice. Come over here. We're going to stand right here and then look in the middle of these three rocks. And that's going to force these next two Titans to spawn uh, basically right in front of us and to the right. Um, and uh, once those guys spawn, I'll kind of talk about fighting them. So you can see they spawned right where we wanted them. Now you have to wait a moment. Wait until the the uh, the brute over here kind of like adjusts his position. So he's gonna fall and then he's gonna like make a small movement. That's when you put down the sonar pulse. You just wait until like they're barely out of their dome shield before you put it down. Otherwise you're not gonna get it. Right there. There we go. That doesn't normally happen. And so the way to prevent the Ronin from doing that is that you can actually stand right next to him here. So they spawn in. So you stand right here, put down the sonar pulse, stand ne right next to the Ronin, and then you aim at the Brute. So I'm going to get three shots on the Brute, and I'm going to try and get a missile lock on Ronin as well. Here, if I can get around this. Okay, so this is normally not how it goes, but here you go. Actually, that is about normally how it goes. So you, it's kind of like the same It's kind of like the same strat as with uh, Richter, or sorry, Kane fight. Where um, you want to use both missile barrages on one Titan. Stand right here. There we go. Got a little lucky with that. Oh wow, he's still alive. Okay. And so one of the things, so the benefit with this strat is, it gets the brute to pop his uh, to pop his vortex shield early, um, and it just really chunks the Ronin. It prevents the Ronin from flying anywhere. Unless he wants to do that, I guess. Um, I swear to God, this never happens using this strat, and it's happening now when I'm doing the tutorial. Like, go figure. That's how it goes, right? Like, this never happens when you do this strat. There we go. There we go. Try and get crits on the brute. There. So that's, that's about like that. The, their, their movements, these guys both have a strider chassis, and so their their dashes are really long and they're just kind of like slippery to deal with. But if you do this, this is usually the best way to deal with them. Where do you think you're going, Outlaw? One, two, three. Whoops. And then one, two, three. There we go. 
So once we, so once you get kill those guys, we're gonna go swap to Ronin. And once we swap to Ronin, we're gonna run over here, and now we're gonna fight Richter. So Richter has this, has like a really dumb animation that's gonna play out, even though we should just be able to shoot him right in the face because we're standing right here. And so the first thing you're gonna do as soon as the animation is over is we're gonna do an arc wave and then shoot instant sword cord. We're gonna hit him four times. Hit him, shoot, him, shoot him two more times, two or three more times, and then he'll do a nuke eject. And that, that's it. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty consistent strat. When I use this strat, he nukes pretty much every single time. There are some times when he doesn't, and if he doesn't, he just melee him as soon as possible. It's always good, like, when you're at the end here. I guess my, uh, I guess my arc wave just disappeared. I guess arc, my arc, that arc wave doesn't exist. So right at the start here, um... Dark wave, shoot, sword sword, shoot two or three times, and then it's always good just to melee him just in case. And then if you just bring up sword block, his nuke eject will never kill you. So he's pretty simple if you use this strat. Thanks man, Terror Rocks. Thanks man. Yeah, but see, he nuke ejects pretty much every time, so. Then you just come stand over here, wait for the doors to open, and, uh... Those are the fights on Beacon Chapter 3. Um, I know, like, I these fights are really talked about tutorials, so I hope kind of like a how-to guide for this will help more people be better at this part, because I, I see a lot of people lose time on these sections. So, um, yeah, hope these tutorials helped you guys, uh, and I will catch you guys in my Trial by Fire tutorial, which I probably have out in a little bit you know probably another within the next week or so we'll see so thank you guys very much for watching um, and i'll catch you in the next video peace